gonna feel it. Uh, uh, hooked on a feeling. Thank you very much. Okay, so uh, what have we learned this week? Or these past four weeks? Because, you know, th- this has actually been four weeks since we've been in here. So a month. Yeah. No, wow. three weeks. Three weeks? Well, last time we were there was... September 30th, we were at the Whiskey Review. We were at the Whiskey mm-hmm. Festival. We had last week off. Yeah. And now this week. I'm talking about being in here. Yeah. We weren't here at the Whiskey Fest. No, we were at Ted's house. Well, and yeah, and, te- and if we had the uh, off week too, yeah, never mind. I forgot the other off week. So how many is that? Six. What? <laughs> Your math is horrid. I just felt like doing that. Hmm. Hey, it was the Whiskey too. Festival. Yes. And if you count the week prior... To the whiskey festival. 16th was the last time we were recording. Yes. So. Yeah, so four weeks. He is right. Yeah, four weeks. It's a month. Yeah. Well, some months. Yeah. What you got there? None your business? <laughs> None ya. Drink the rest of this. No. Ouch. Ow. Hitting my glasses. We haven't even actually done the intro, so... This is the Crack Skull Podcast. That's Ted, Tony, I'm Corey. What's going on, fellas? Uh, you know... Hey, we're, we're just talking, just so... Just talking, just bullshit. My question was, how's your week been, Ted? So the week was actually really good until last night. Friday the 13th, what happened? Oh... I decided to order food bobs at work. I was hungry. Oh, good lord, who did you go through? DoorDash. I'm sorry, hadn't it probably cost you 50 bucks to get $10 worth of food? No. Actually, what? I didn't. No. Um, wow, that's a shock. My order was pretty much right on price point. Uh, I ordered from Wendy's because Wendy's was close and I really wanted a Baconator. Um, Can't hold a Baconator. Well, His just wait. So. Okay. Just wait. I know this is going to end up turning out really bad, but go ahead. So, delivery driver shows up with my food. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I ordered a Baconator. Large combo. So I also got pumpkin spice frosty with that. Big fucking shock. Hey, man, they're good. How, tell me your basic white bitch without telling me your basic <laughs> white bitch. Hey, man, they're good. Um, I ordered ghost pepper fries with ghost pepper uh, ranch dipping sauce, too. Just double up the ghost pepper. I also ordered a loaded nacho burger. And How a taco- much food did he fucking order? And a taco salad. Wait, that was that was Wendy's has taco salad. Yeah, they've got taco salads. Oh. Is it the old school ones with the big bowls? No, they put. Oh. They're supposed to be just corn chips in there. Gotcha. They don't do you know the Remember old school Taco Bell and yeah, yep. Um, I saw what you picked. So that's fine. I got I that the order comes in. Driver shows up and I look at him. I'm like, hey man, you're you're. Less than enthused about that, aren't you? And you're just, eh. No, that was my maker's glass. Okay. We can start. You just pour a little nip, and then we can get something else. That's fine. Yeah, mm-hmm. She grabbed it. Yeah. I mean, I do have something fun that we could do, but you know, I wasn't going to open that bottle. We'll do that here in a little bit. Um, uh, cheers. You pour it. Yeah. Okay. Um, 
So, anyways, my my order shows up. Delivery driver come, walks in. And I'm like, hey, man, where's my Frosty? Where's this? Where's that? And he goes, hey, this is what they gave me. And I said, oh, okay. I thought he was pouring halfway up the freaking Delta glass. I was like, Jesus Christ. Again. Yeah. No. Okay, so he just said, hey, this is what they gave me. Mm-hmm. 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 Did he eat it? Mm-mm. Forgot half of it, didn't he? I, I will point out that the Wendy's is 0.3 miles away from the office. So you could have walked there technically and got this. If I would have been able, if I would have been able to, yes, I could have walked there and gotten my order. Mm-hmm. All I got was a container with lettuce, shredded cheese, some tomatoes on top of it. What? A packet of their salsa, the cup of chili, and the ghost pepper fries. No hamburger, no. <laughs> what Didn't the even fuck? get the chips for the taco salad. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> nope. That's why I don't door dash or anything like this. It, it actually went. This is the third time now that I've had a problem with that Wendy's specifically. Then why the fuck do you keep going back to it? Door dash goes with the closest place. Don't get fucking Wendy's. Well, that's exactly it. That Wendy's can now kiss my ass. <laughs> I mean, I ordered from them one day, and they actually sat there and they were reviewing the order. And then stated that they were closed for orders for the day. Jesus. At 3 o'clock in the afternoon. The fuck did you get? Uh, Junior bacon cheeseburger. Two junior bacon cheeseburgers and a chocolate frosty. No, so nothing too crazy. No, nothing too crazy. I mean, this order that I just placed wasn't anything too crazy. And they couldn't even get everything. They couldn't even hand the driver everything. Right. The bags are labeled with a receipt. Ted C. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so... Um, I, I don't know what to tell you there, bud. That's okay. It's okay. I got my refund from DoorDash. They refunded the entire meal. Oh, the entire... So you got your food okay. for free. What, yep. you, what you did, you got, you got it for free. Yes. They returned. Right. They refunded everything. The driver right. actually stood there on live chat support with DoorDash. Wow, that's a shock. And he was like, hey, look, here's what's going on. Here's what I have. Took a picture. And they were like... Huh? Tell him to submit that he didn't get everything, and we're going to refund the entire meal, and um, he can enjoy what little he got. Mm-hmm. Not exactly those last few words, oh, yeah. you know, but you know, we're going to refund everything, and they did. They refunded the entire order. Well, at least the delivery driver got his cool still got it. his tip and everything, which mm-hmm. I'm, you know, it's not his fault. No. no, it's not like he drove six miles with my food, and I can go where. At what point on the drive over here did you eat my food? You know. Right. <laughs> Well, I mean, where you're located, you can almost see the Wendy's. Yes. Yeah, that's what kills me. And this is, once again, like I said, the third time that this Wendy's in particular has had an issue where I haven't either gotten the order or... Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Or they've closed. Yeah, it's... Mm-hmm. Not... Screw that, Wendy's. Okay, so you've had a really bad time. I mean... That Wendy's. Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, the rest, you, of, the rest of my week was... The rest of my week has been cake. I mean, <laughs> even where you're located for work, you have quite a few different food options. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. I mean, I've got the rail. I've got... There's a new place oh, called... Oh, the um, so good. Like oh, they rail. are so good, but they're so expensive. They oh, and then you have sheets right there, too. Oh, yeah. I, I don't like sheets food. Really? I have... So, I've door dashed sheets before. Yeah. Don't like them. Really? Don't like their food. Is it just that location? Because I know that the one up, the one uh, over by closer to where you live. Nope, the, that's that the bad. one by my house is the one that I've been ordering from. Really? Don't like it. What I've happened? Got, so I did. Um, because I know when um, I've Alan done a couple. Of, I've you. done a couple of the sliders. Okay. And they were all right. And I mean, and that's like it's. It's gas station food. I mean. It's meh. Yeah. It's very meh. And that's like, for what I kind of expected for what I ordered, I was like, oh. Like, I ordered the uh, the chicken parmesan sandwich that has the mozzarella sticks on it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, were at least the mozzarella sticks warm? No. Oh. Yeah. yeah. It, like, the sheets, it's just meh. Uh. 
It's just, like I there are so many other places that are so much better. Like I've been ordering from DP Dough. Oh, I love DP Dough. Right. For the, anyone the that Rolinis. doesn't know DP Dough. Oh. Calzones that Fuck yeah. Dude, buffalo chicken, buffalo chicken mac and cheese calzone. Hmm. Dude, I always Fuck did uh, custom ordered calzone. I, have you done the Rollinis? No. Oh. Pepperoni and cheese Rollinis. I mean, their dough, it's very thick, but it is very fucking good. Yes, right. it is. It Think of... Oh, uh, that is four roses. <sighs> Papa John's, like the Fuck dough, John's. but a thousand times better. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Oh, by the way, we are drinking uh, four, four roses. roses small batch. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I've got this, I got this a long time ago. It was a... Long, long. I think it was right around Christmas boom. time. They had like the packs that came out that had the glasses and stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's when I got this. So, Kenzie I picked do this enjoy. up for us. If you didn't see Kenzie earlier, she picked this up. For I do us. enjoy Four Roses. Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah. Um, got the OSU game on because, you know, because I wish you. We got to watch OSU this year. So, we watched uh, Notre Dame the last time Ted was up. So, yeah, he wasn't. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You, want to learn, you want to know some things I learned this week? Since hmm. we're talking about our weeks and stuff like that? Yeah. Okay. I had to write them down. That's me. Oh, oh, great. So, oh, good Lord. Here we go. So, Hamas mm-hmm. is playing the home version of Fuck Around and Find Out right now. Yes, the they are. Yep. Yeah. yeah. That's not going to be a good situation over there. No. So, that's, that's almost borderline on the political mm-hmm. and religious issues that we don't talk yeah. about. What's, what, what I think is great about that one, though, is they're now arming the citizens mm-hmm. to mm-hmm. fight. Mm-hmm. Had a... Facebook market deal up for some equipment that I had extra sitting around the house from mm-hmm. recording equipment. So I had like, when I bought the board, the only thing I wanted was the board out of the whole deal. Yeah. But I'd take everything to just get the board. Yeah. So it was like a PA amp, a 250 watt PA amp, a dual CD recorder, and a tape deck. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. Tied up on Marketplace. I had it up there for a while. Somebody this week offered me a big bag of weed <laughs> for it and sent me a picture of said weed. <laughs> I was like, dude, I don't partake. Sorry, dude. So people out there. <sighs> he actually had the balls to say, "I'm not a cop." Like you're so fucking. Yeah, because like, that's because that's not what a cop would do. <laughs> yeah. A cop going, "I'm not a cop." It's not a cop. Shit, you know, the bag, the bag was this fucking like this big. He, he's not a cop. He's DEA. Yeah, no <laughs> shit. Uh, so he's right. <laughs> sorry, the Maker's Mark Infinity bottle. I just pulled my fucking headphones off. So that's fun. Um, it's got. Three ounces of everything from the summer release, and then I think two ounces from the the regular forty six bottle that we have okay. set up there. So we don't have forty six casks in there yet, or nope. the regular cask. In nope. There yet. nope. So and we don't have the lakeside sipper in and there. The lakeside sipper in there. Uh, have we yet. put the one hundred one in there? One hundred one. Yeah. There was yeah. One hundred one's in. Two ounces of one hundred one. I have. Oh, a, okay. I, I wrote down the recipe for it. Um, Ted made a comment earlier this week about not. Bu- Buying a ticket in Ohio for Powerball. <laughs> it seems like any time that <laughs> this one actually got really funny too. It seems like every time that the it gets higher than like one point five billion dollars, the winner's out in California, and this winner was out in California. When the- yeah, go figure. Yeah. Uh, Boy, did I fucking call that one or what? Mm-hmm. And then we, what was it? It was the uh, the Mega Millions that just classic hit. Lotto. Classic yeah, the classic five point five million. Yeah, somebody just hit from Ohio. Yeah. Because, well, like, I'm not buying a ticket in Ohio now. The Ohio Classic Lottery is only played in Ohio. Mm. Right, but... E- everyone thinks that I'm crazy because I'd take the annuity on, you know, like the $1.7 mm-hmm. billion, And I'm like, yeah, I don't have to work for the rest of my life. But yeah. Have, that's, that's easy money coming in 30 every year. years. Yeah. Lump sum it. Um, no. You get taxed to hell off of that. Yeah. You get taxed every year on the annuity. Yeah, but you I also would, get interest off the annuity. Ah, you can get interest oh, off of the lump sum. No, you can. not Yes, you can. You did invest oh. it. Yep. If you invest, I know. Yeah. I know a guy. I know a guy. Yeah, he's probably the same guy. I think it is the same guy. <laughs> Shout out, Mr. Schaefer. Yes, sir. Um, I got to do my least favorite home activity this this past week. Was it changing the oil in a vehicle? No, but I did have to do that. There's still oil in my garage. <laughs> Tony saw it earlier. I was pissed off. About it. I saw the picture. Yeah. Yeah. You just so, went, don't look. Yeah, just don't look. Looks um, like a crime scene. It does look like a crime scene. Kitty uh, litter. 
I don't, if I had a kitty, kitty litter, actually to, doesn't work. It, it actually, if you get it early enough, it does. Yeah, this has been sitting out there for like a week now. I'm yeah, it, he's screwed now. Yep. Um, um, washer. Yep. Um, I had to clean out a uh, drain. Ah. Clean out the drain is my least favorite thing. That's nothing. No, I no, I get it. But when it's the kitchen sink one, bathrooms are worse. They are worse. That's that, that's horrible. When it's like this much hair. Dude, the smell that comes yep. out of it. Every time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I had to clean out the uh, kitchen sink. This the last week before was the bathroom sink or the bathroom drain in the in the tub. Yeah, it's it's horrible. Yeah, it's horrible. Um, no. Nope. And you live with a bunch of females. You should know this. <sighs> Do you know we? So we've actually got in our bathroom drain. We've got one of those. We oh pulled, the hair catchers. We pulled. Yeah, the, yeah that uh, shit doesn't work. No, check this out. We pulled the metal one out of the little round strainer out the multi hold, and we've got one that sets down in. It actually does work. It's a very thin um, sieve style, and we will literally we'll pull the clumps of hair out of that, and it works. It stays put. It doesn't move. Hey Ted, real quick. So you said that you took that metal strainer out. Yeah. Okay. So in our apartment, we've um, got one, you've got that metal one that has the three prong that has the three little. It looks yeah. like the pizza box thing. Yeah. Yeah. Do Do you want to know why that's in there? We replaced it with the one that we. Well, no, no, no. It keeps. So it's called a waste and overflow. That shoe, that's right there. It holds that in place. So if any pressure or anything, it can break the seal. So what what we've got is just a rubber on the out. It's like a, pl- a hard plastic oh, on the outside, fuck. and it dips down. It cups down. Mm-hmm. So it's fine. So what you're saying is you're gonna have a leak. I'm a fucking idiot. No, I didn't buy it. I didn't buy it. So <laughs> that was not a me purchase. See, I'm not even brave enough to take that thing out. I just freaking clean it out as it is what it is. Well, Mine has the, the push down stopper on it, so I have to take the stopper. Oh, uh, see, out. yeah. Oh, that, see, you've got yeah. that style. That is, you yeah. just press yeah. it up, spin see, it. See, ours, right ours is up here at the handle, mm-hmm. you know, for our shower, you know. Yeah, excuse me. Mandy broke my heart this week. Oh, what happened? We were going to go to last weekend. Last weekend. I said. We were out and about. I said, let's go to Indiana. Okay. I said, let's go to Fort Wayne. Okay. Because, you know, that's where Three Rivers is. Mm -hmm. Mm Mm-hmm. She's like, you know, that's like two hours away. I was like, no, it's only an hour and a half. She's like, no, look it up. It is two hours. two hours away. (laughs) Really? (laughs) Yeah. So if we ever go, it's two hours instead of 90 minutes. So. Oh. I know. Well, two hours you're driving or? With Ted driving. 90 minutes by driving. We'd probably be there in like 15 of Ted driving, so. (laughs) Not his vehicle. Yeah, no. Um, friend of the show, John Jones, had heart surgery this week. Oh, damn. Oh. He had a hole in his heart, and they had to have it repaired. So. Ooh, wow. He actually had two. He had a big one and a little tiny one right next to it, so he did it all in one shot. So. Oh, that's yeah. good. Yep, so speedy recovery to John. Um, Drink to your health. Yes. And the, the most funny thing that happened this past week was that Notre Dame lost again. Yeah, <laughs> we... Little, little, little. To who? Louisville. 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 He screwed the pooch on that one. It's funny because there was a thing that came up that said Hartman at Wake Forest last year lost to him, and he played him again this well, year, and, and he lost to him again. Like hmm. we we came out mm. semi strong? <clears throat> Question mark? Like yeah. we did can, not? Can you honestly say that though? No, we look like we we had done been through the ringer. That bad on the like at the beginning of the game, we look like we had already been through the ringer. Mm-hmm. And the reality of it is, we've not had a break yet. We don't even get a break until next week. Right. You don't know what that sounds like to me. An excuse. I mean, call it what you call it what you want to, but he looked like he was literally just done after you know six weeks of straight. Battling. Don't be a quarterback. Well, I mean, and it, it, but it wasn't just him. Like that was the first time he's thrown an interception. Motherfucker looks like he's thirty. Yeah, he does. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, that was the first time he's thrown an interception too. Yeah. And granted, he chose to play for an extra year. He could have been done. Yeah, wouldn't have been drafted. 
No. He might have been. With what he did with Wake Forest last year, he probably would have been. I won't say that he would have gone in the first round or two. He'd be sitting on the practice squad somewhere. Maybe. Yeah. For the Browns. <laughs> Speaking of the Browns. Deshaun Watson refused to play two weeks ago and is going to shut down again this week. Because oh. his pec hurts? Shoulder. He's got a pack. He's got a boo-boo shoulder. Oh, fuck him. How's the Bengals doing? I was just getting ready to say, you know, okay. um... <laughs> Burrow should not be playing right now. No. What I tell you at the beginning of the season? At preseason, what I tell you? Oh, yeah, yeah. And he jacked his leg up. He, he did, and I, th- I figured if they would have done it right, he would have been good to go. They have not done it right, and he's going to turn out like Aaron Rodgers. Mm-hmm. That thing's going to explode on camera. Mm-hmm. That that's it's And it's going to be career-ending. Hey, at least your team's doing better than mine. I mean, that ain't hard. <laughs> Haven't won a game. <laughs> haven't that, won a game. He hasn't won a game. Nope. <laughs> no. Like I said, not even preseason. Hard. Haven't won a game. I think we're three and two, if I remember correctly. Yeah, God, that was some good fucking whiskey. <sighs> so I did get the new microphone. Yes, I was going to touch on that. That's if you see a big empty spot in front of Tony now, it's because he uh, he it had a birthday. Weird. Microphone. He had a birthday. And for his birthday, he, uh, birthday. he got himself an arm and a birthday. really nice condenser mic that we've had to turn the Come phantom on. power on Come to make it work. So. No, he's, they have complained nonstop because no, this thing will no pick up everything. Up everything. And we got the OSU game on. Like, I don't know if I said that. I think I said that earlier. Yeah, we, said we, that. we have to have it on mute now because if even it's on a little bit, the mic picks it up. So We don't want to get Son sued. <laughs> you completely missed that. No, it literally threw it that far. Did you clip the front end? Yeah. Why would you clip the front end? Uh, because it was completely covered over. You, re- you light you the pipe on fire. Oh. Okay. I'm dead. I'm a fucking idiot. I'm, u- I'm used to having them already cut like that at the front. So yeah. that's why I did it. I'm a fucking idiot. So you actually got these. These are hand rollies that you got. Yes. They are and from, I, so tip-top, I, and from tip-top smoke. And, and I'm not used to that, so that's why I did that. I'm so used to having a factory cigar right. that... It was already a cut cigar and that I did. So, yeah, did that was... Did you make a mess in the bar, too? Yeah, yeah. that's what I said. It, it he threw hasn't ashed it. yet. It threw he has to that get it cut. Lit. Like, here's how much I cut off. Mm-hmm. Just the cap, yeah. Yeah, just the cap. And it threw all of that mm-hmm. across the, the bar. Just a good cigar. They're a very cigar cigar. So, if you like... Very it's cigar got, cigars. It's got some, some sweet to it, but it's a very cigar cigar. I'm enjoying the smell. The just smell off really the back. And, and, and we've got some good cigars that we bought... Last couple weeks ago, mm-hmm. um, from Bucks. Yep. Um, and Shout out, Bucks. I, I, I will mention that I completely wiped out their entire yeah. Weller Cohiba yes, collect- uh, yeah. selection there. Collection? But, collection, selection, yes. But these are Sanj Patels. So pro- Sanj probably Patels. the same family as Rocky. And um, these are called Industry Killers. Huh. And I paid $6 a piece for them. That's not bad. No. No, it's not bad at all. No. So. Way cheaper than I played for paid for those Cohibas. You paid for? You paid played for. Yeah, played I played for those Cohibas. Well, you plays down at the corner. Out in the street. Down on the corner. Out in the street. Well, it's his house in the middle of the street. 2350. Remember that number. Ooh. That is a good cigar. 2350? Yeah. Why? Because that's the time it was when he freaking lit that thing. Oh. <laughs> you just start the timer on your phone. That would work. Oh, out. that's what I'm doing. Okay. That is a good cigar. I gotta find it. Oh. Under clock. Want me to start on my watch? Christ. This will never get old. And you said it's underneath the clock. It should be. Mine is. Yeah, that is a very nice cigar. Mm-hmm. All right, it started. Okay. I didn't toast enough around that one edge. Should I stop it now? No, because it's still lit. <laughs> it's still lit. I can look. It hasn't even been 15 seconds. I told him for months, you need to toast it. You need to toast it. And I did, and I did, it. and I rolled it. Hey, I don't think he knows how. Yeah. You, no, you just watched me do it. Yeah. I rolled around the outside first. That's what I do. But I didn't. Oh, my God. I've got one small spot. <laughs> you know what? I'll make that. I'll, I'll, oh, there we go. I'll make this part. Watch this. Suck, 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 suck. 
There we go. You hired. Good. No, not even. Not even, $15. not even remotely. Well, remember, it's 20 bucks and we're not impressed. Right, yeah. Not even remotely. Uh, yeah. It's been a... Hasn't been, like I said, hasn't been a bad week. Mm. I'm actually surprised yesterday wasn't any worse than it... It could have been way worse, is actually the way I should put that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, it was Friday the 13th. So, could have been absolutely horrid. It wasn't. Yeah, but you didn't even watch Friday the 13th. No, I was working. Yeah. Okay, you work pretty much at a dead site after 7 p.m. Yeah, but I also just switched phones, so I have to re-log into everything, and I'm so sick and tired of... I've been so sick and tired of re-logging into every little fucking app really? on my phone. So you're like, and I, oh, I just well, don't want to do it, so I'm not going to watch Friday I, the 13th on Friday the uh, 13th I no longer in have, October. I no longer have Spectrum on my phone. Oh. Uh, so I don't have my Spectrum stuff on my phone anymore. No, I think it was HBO Max. I had it. I don't have HBO Max. I don't pay for that shit. Yeah. <laughs> I don't either. That, the wife that, does. That's that's that, that's the other thing. Like, what's on my phone? I don't have streaming services on my phone. I don't have okay. Netflix. I don't have, you know, Max. I don't have HBO. Like, I don't have any of those. Okay. So the only thing that I had was when I had Spectrum for my service provider. Mm-hmm. I could log into Spectrum, and yeah. I would log into our Spectrum account at the house, and I would was good to go. I pulled that off my phone because I have T-Mobile now. Okay, because fuck Spectrum. <laughs> they they look they were really good with me doing all the switchover and everything from Mark's account and everything, but as far as a service provider for mobile, not worth what you're paying. Mm. Really not worth what you're paying. Yeah, and I'm I'm T-Mobile now, and I had. I was technically T-Mobile before mm-hmm. at one point because I was Sprint, but even then, I'm old school. I still have the original phone number that I've had since I had my Nextel. Uh, the PTT? This is the same number I've had for over 20 years. Then I started with Nextel, then they went to Sprint, then they went to T-Mobile. Yep. Mm-hmm. So funny story about the push talks. Mm-hmm. Got in so much trouble with those. Friends had him in high school, different schools. Hey, that's all. And 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 that's why I shut my phone off when I got to school. <laughs> you assholes. Ah, oh, uh huh. I you know I'm actually glad that those don't exist anymore. But but yeah. there are they are trying to bring them back, and I don't Oof. understand why. Like, the last thing I really want to do is be walking through the grocery store here. Hey, man, will you pick up? Damn. <laughs> I got your weed. Because that's what you're going to say on the open line. I, but people would do it. I know. Yeah. I was yeah, sitting did. at Fitzy's one night while the uh, the uh, officers were in there eating, and somebody literally hit somebody's phone up, and you heard it. Hey, man, I got that dime bag. When you want to come pay for it? And the cops are just sitting there going. <laughs> like, how stupid are you? That was exactly their. And they look, They went over and they looked at the guy and they were like, your buddy's an idiot and he's going to get you in trouble. We're going to give you a five minute head start. And we technically can't do anything because that's entrapment. <laughs> Because wow. they they overheard it. Mm-hmm. No, that's not their fault. But it's entrapment if they if they. No. Okay, so it, it's the same thing as if you pull into a bar, mm-hmm. and then the and an officer watches you pull into the bar, and they sit there and they pull you over the second that you leave the bar. That is considered entrapment. They witnessed you go to the now whether or not you're drunk or not. If you get pulled over, that's considered entrapment. So if an officer would have gotten into his vehicle mm-hmm. and followed that guy to go while he went to go pick up his baggie. That was entrapment because he knew what was going on prior to everything. Yeah. He didn't just stumble upon it. 
Well, he was just there eating Some, food and then, somebody, hey, I got your dime bag. When are you going to get it? Right. Somebody didn't call and go, hey, man, there's a dr- there's a massive drug deal going on in my parking lot. And an officer showed up. And, whoop, whoop. Yep, sure as shit, drug deal. Go- no, he, I know I'm going to get two people dealing drugs. One's buying, one's selling. Yeah, I'm sorry if you're that fucking stupid to do that. I, but that it, that's considered entrapment. Mm-hmm. It's really oh. weird, but... Morons. 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 Yes. Morons. So, I, besides everything that's going on with stuff that I won't talk about mm-hmm. on air, yeah, the week hasn't been too horrible for Good. me. Get a cool shirt. Yeah. That is a cool shirt. Yeah, this is not a drill. It's not a drill. It's a hammer, actually. It's nails. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I think it would have been better if it would have been three. Meh. Do you know that I actually have three nails? You know the snippets of three nails, right? Okay. You, you, you spaced out there for a second. Let's make sure you were still on Yeah, I just... Oh, no, no. Meh. Corey, I have three nails mm-hmm. in my truck that I keep up in my dash tray. I've taken them, gone up to my boss, and I went, Hey, can you put me up for the night? It's so wrong. But so funny. It's so wrong. That's that joke from The Crow. Remember that? Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Hey, I'm just going to hang out for a bit. <laughs> Fun? You're on your own. <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, God help us all. Yes. No worries. Actually, that's kind of perfect. His look was, eh. Ben Affleck was frozen there for so a second. So, I'm out of whiskey. I'm out of whiskey. You're out of whiskey? Same here. Okay. I wasn't going to do this. Doesn't open a new bottle again. Oh, oh, fuck it now. What are we drinking now? I don't think we have clean glasses. <gasps> there is a cabinet full of clean glasses. There is. Do you want me to grab three? Oh, uh, yeah. You're going to have to grab three. Right there. Oh, yeah. We do have No, one. we're going to need bigger than Glen, those mini Glen Cairns. We need Allen size glasses. No, we're, we're definitely going to need bigger than Allen size glasses. They come in pints. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, I forgot you had that. Yeah. I've been debating on whether or not I was going to crack this bottle open. Um, you might as well. Yeah. Getting too old for this shit. Shh, you and me three. You're the youngest of the three of us. Still doesn't mean I can't. So, what do we got here? Okay, 23, bottle number 67 of 208. <clears throat> and these are the last 208 okay. bottles. A.M. Scott. A.M. Scott's... Uh, Actually, Scotty's. This yeah, is this, is the, this is the original A.M. Scotty's label, too. This is the founder's um, favorite. Yep. This is coming in at 126.7 proof. It was named after his grandfather, if I remember correctly, correct? Yes. 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 So, um, they announced last week. Why did it sound like the Xbox was shutting off? Because it was. <laughs> I heard it. I heard it too. Yeah. Or it was turning on. I don't know. That too. Mm. So, they announced last week that they. Um, well, real quick, I think it's safe to say that OSU is going to win. Yeah. It's only we'll less than two minutes left in the game. So, last week um, on Friday at 8 o'clock at night. They opened up the sales for these bottles. Right. And these are the last 208 bottles that are being made. Well, yeah, and then uh, didn't they do a lottery on it? No. I I thought that they were doing a lottery on it. No, this is not a lottery. This is a buy it and go get it. This is a $60 bottle. Hey, real quick. Which is why Ted was late today. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. I was trying to figure out where the hell they had it. Um, so this is a $60 bottle, and it, yes, this is why I was late today. Mm-hmm. Um, that and the other bottle from earlier. Come off there, you stupid plastic. Just Ted went to one of my favorite stores, which is Needlers. Yes. Oh, hold on, hold on. Get up there. You know it's going to be I crispy. know, I had to crack the... Ooh, ooh that was a good one. <laughs> Uh-oh, he Bruh. made a face. Bruh. 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 
Bruh. Bruh. Bruh. Here. Go ahead. Pour your own. Pour your own. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Nope. <laughs> he didn't see me do that earlier either. Yes, I did. Did you? Here's all you got left. Oops, I filled that up a little too much. No such thing as too much. <laughs> Corey? Corey. Oh. Oops. Oops. Oopsies. Pour yourself what you would like, sir. God, we're drinking high proof again. I mean, if we're going to do it, do it fucking right. I, I think we need the fan on. Yeah. We yeah, we probably do need on. the fan back on. At yeah. least we figured out what the sound was. Sis got it. You almost had it. There we go. I do have this one to open too, so. No, yeah, it's, so I, I'm just seeing that layer. Yeah, it's just sitting there. It ain't doing nothing. So this is the founder select. Oh, I can't wait until we get that. Um, oh, actually, here, check this out. Handcrafted spirits. Since we can use this thing down here to. Um, yeah. Distilled in Lawrenceburg, Indiana. No. Oh. We knew that. It's yeah. Bottled in at in Troy, mm-hmm. and this is single barrel barrel proof. So okay. this is their absolute barrel proof on this. Um, I will pull up the tasting on this because I do you know where I can find that. Um, ironically, directly on their website. Yeah. No shit. Shading so. Amscott.com. Mm-hmm. Are you old enough to get out in there? No. Uh, that's Ted, what I always Ted say. did not see our favorite I, whiskey kind of I did not. I did not see morning. Tony there today. No. Um, he probably was not there that just yet. It smells really good. It does. It that, reminds me of the Patriots blend that we have down there, too. So. I, I, as soon as I took that whiff, I went, ooh, I just want So to this try. is barrel yeah, aged. Yeah, Patriot blend that I bought. Yeah. yeah. This is barrel aged for seven years. This is non-chill filtered. Mash bill of 75% corn. 21% rye, 4% barley malt. Tasting notes of caramel, vanilla, dried fruit, and slight spice. Good thing the game was over. Yeah, that was kind of... Did it just kick uh, off on you? Yeah, it went back to the home screen. Okay. Sorry, we both just kind of went, what? Yeah, so how much of that didn't you catch? 90% of it. What you said? Yeah. Yeah, none of it. Okay. So, <laughs> <laughs> it's barrel aged for just, seven years. Just like when you called earlier and you were like, hey, I'm moving zip line. I'm not coming in. We're like, uh, click. Yeah, I was like, you ass. I'm just, <laughs> Tony was laughing his ass off. No, I'm like, <laughs> no, I, I almost turned around too. I was like, I had just passed the place. Mm-hmm. I was like, fuck it, maybe that's I just a, should. That's, that's a big, huge thing out there. Yeah. Out there. They have like driving range and all kinds of stuff out there. I know exactly it, where uh, you're Yeah, at. so what the hell? You guys have a, there's a driving range with a fucking bar attached to it? And a zip line and well, a Well, so the bar, the bar driving range was down the road. Mm-hmm. And then just up from that was the um, zip line and other stuff. Mm-hmm. Looked mm-hmm. like they had bounce houses. I mean, Tony, they, they had you, you could have gone bounce housing. <laughs> I do like a good bounce house. Me too. I mean, you are the child out of the group kid. here. WWE wrestling. Inside of <laughs> yeah. So works. Little kids getting thrown out. Mm-hmm. So what anyway, happened to Timmy? So this is yeah, a this, this is a seven year. This is mash bill of seventy five percent corn, twenty one percent rye, four mm-hmm. percent malted barley. Um, tasting notes of caramel, vanilla, dried fruit, and slight spice. And it's coming in, like I said, 126.7 proof. No, I, I haven't had a sip out of it yet. Oh, I haven't. But I've been sniffing it. Right? Oh, wow. I get vanilla and caramel right on that get nose. Get that in your mouth. Are you introducing yourself? Ah. Oh, good. That's good shit. Oh. If, if you haven't got your fingers on one of these bottles yet, sorry oh. about your damn luck. Wow! They, I, they, as they, as, they as they of sold out. as of right now, oh, they have one as of left. right now, it is still in stock on their website. Ooh. I doubt that. No, he there. Once it sells out, it sells out. But they are it's in stock on on the website. So, either people are sleeping on this one I'm or. Yeah, do not. This is uh, this is the final run. Mm-hmm. That's it. Um, the next one that they do will not be, and they are even stating that this will end up probably being a collector's bottle because it is the should have bought two, should have, could have, would have, but still can. Yeah. <laughs> um. 
I will. Yeah. Oh God. Damn. That's that good. is. Wow. Hey, yes. we we can always do another uh, AM Scott. Mm-hmm. There are ten. Yes. We just won't drink of a tonic. No, we've, we've tried that between. But we we've before done we we've done their gin, and it's delicious. I know. I'm not. I'm not Don't saying it's not delicious. Make sure you take that bottle because your wife will yell at you. <laughs> oh yeah, she will. She doesn't even like gin too. She doesn't even drink, but she's like, we're that. Oh. Wow. God, that's so good. I might actually order another bottle. <laughs> like I, I am. Oh, and it. Uh, I will say this: If you order it, you have 30 days to pick up the bottle, oh, yeah. and then it goes back into stock. Mm-hmm. So, and and, and it's a uh, local pickup. You have to go to the distillery mm-hmm. to get it. Um, Which is right, right down the road in Troy. Yep. Mm-hmm. Now compare this to their bourbon to their Patriot Mash. Um, Patriot the, was 115. The Patriot is barrel aged 11 years, barrel strength at uh, 115 proof, mm-hmm. tasting notes of vanilla, cherry, and orange. Composition of 84% corn, 8% rye, 8% malted barley. But that Patriot was oh, it, oh, and it, Yeah, and they've got that in stock right now, too. That's a $90 bottle. Yeah. Um, we and, we, and, we, and well worth the $90. Oh, yeah, it is. Um, well, I think... Uh, I don't think I paid 90 for it. Yes, you did. Mm, I, I don't think so. Mm, I don't think it was that high. He might have cut us a discount on it. No, I... I it's it's listed even not when you go up there it's listed at eighty nine ninety nine at at the bottle shop. Hmm. Um, I don't remember. I will say that I did find out something interesting though What's while that? I was at A M Scott today. So I made you privy to this, Corey. Um, a Jew privy to this? I don't know if I put it in the That's group text like message or not. I made you privy to this. Sadly, you oh. said. Pre- previous. Pre- I thought you said a Jew previous. <laughs> that, that's I made like, you. I made you privy to this. I will enunciate my words. Jesus Christ! Articulate, <laughs> exaggerate. English fucker, do you speak it? In cursive. Yeah, he's getting there. Um, slowly. <laughs> they're coming out with rise. Oh yeah, you did tell me this earlier. Oh, yeah. three rise that they're dropping in the next three months. Okay. So next month, AM Scott will be releasing their single barrel rye. Mm -hmm. In December of this year, they will be dropping their cigar blend rye. Mm -hmm. And then in January of 2024, they will be releasing their barrel barrel strength Rye. rye. Nice. So we're getting some rise from these guys i can't wait to see what they do when they actually start getting their own stuff i think oh yeah that's gonna be fun i think part of this is, is part of that i did it, not there were there were questions that i purposely did not ask today right i just wanted to know time frame mm-hmm. yeah. because i'm interested in the time frame now when i buy the bottles and i go pick up bottles because let's be honest i'm gonna be buying a couple of bottles mm-hmm. um i may reach out to tony in advance and ask him information yeah, and see what he can give us. Mm-hmm. That way, I have my talking points on it. Mm-hmm. But Tony giving us information? Never. No. No. What a good dude. He was happy as shit to see us. <laughs> hey, wait, Tony. I know these guys. <laughs> Tony. Speaking of Tonys, did you ever go up to Hainer and get your bottles? Not yet. You're gonna freaking miss out. The honey's available now. Maple's available, and they're running I out know. of both of them. But I need some more monies. I had to take off almost a full day last week. So, you this paycheck, do you want to know what's sad? You know there's always, always fans, right? <laughs> you sell your feet. Sell your feet. <laughs> well, you see... I'm thinking he'd be a hand model for tools. Ooh, there you go. But you see, the crazy thing, though, is... I made X amount. Mm-hmm. I brought Pipe home fitter. less than half. Jesus Christ. <sighs> yeah. I'm getting warm. Uh, it's time to take off the hockey jersey. It's getting hot in her. I, I'm definitely... But I'm about saying the next one. I, I'm wearing nothing but horror-themed stuff today. <laughs> I, I, I just saw the sleeve of the jersey going... <laughs> 
Got a big hit. Little arm. Is your name T-Rex? Yeah. I am not a small arms dealer. Everyone fears the T-Rex. Fingers a T-Rex? Is that what you said? Fears. Oh, oh check it out. It's healed. I gotta go uh, do a little retouch to it. Yeah, the gold. Uh, no, the gold I'm fine with. Uh, some of the black fell out right in the eyes, in the yeah. middle of the nose. I was actually, while I was in the shower, I, I watched a huge flake of black just fly off. I went, fuck. Yeah, I, I, I have no idea how you mean about, like, see that? Cool thing is, touch That's up a works scar. Free. <laughs> and I went, well, that's never going to go back. Um, Can't even tattoo that scar tissue. So, I'm just going to go ahead and do this. Um, I bought a laser engraver. Don't do it. I mentioned it earlier this week to him. Don't do it. He said, we'll do this, we'll do this. I said, and then your arm. He's like, my arm is not the, one of the approved items on the list. I said, oh, yeah. After, after about seven or eight drinks, it will be. And I said, that's it. I'm sober permanently now. <laughs> at least at home with yeah. that. Um, we'll do your finger first and let you get used to it. and then we'll. No, we're going to do your arm. No. Yeah, no. we're gonna do your arm. No. Yep, no. we're gonna do your arm first, and if you, that you don't works, know what this reminds me of, we're gonna do um, Tony's forehead. Th- this kind of reminds me of uh, Starship Troopers. <laughs> <laughs> you know that one scene where they're getting the ink and he pours the whiskey down his arm. Yeah. Boy, how do I know that movie that well? Oh wait, because I've seen it two point five billion times. Yeah. <sighs> so would you call that a horror movie? No. All the blood, gore. No, it's not a horror. Aliens. It's not a horror movie. That is a sci-fi. It's a... Okay. Separate planets, aliens... Sci-fi. Alien. Sci-fi. Yeah. So you say that the movie Alien is not a horror movie. Not a horror movie. Okay. No, it's it, it. While it has scary I, elements, I, it is not a horror movie, right? It's not. It's not phantasm. Predator. Predator is still. I put that in that sci-fi category. Ooh, that's a cool breeze. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, wow. I saw that one right, right in, in. Right my back. That's like fifty-seven <laughs> degrees out right now, too. Your so. eyes went really Ooh, wide. How was that cold breeze? Um, <laughs> so like, I don't know you. <laughs> no, in, in order in order for me to say horror movie, like. You have to have certain elements. Um, I want to play a game. And and right there, you know, Saw can kind of go into, even though I'm not a really big fan of the movies, it goes into that... What's in the box? It goes into that horror category. Um, That's more of a thriller than anything else. Right, it, more of a chiller mm-hmm. than, it, than anything else. Um, but on a technicality. On a technicality because... Okay, think of it like this. Think of it in, in music terms, okay? There you have rock, then you have grunge, garage, rock pop. And roll. Rock lobster. Right, so you, you've got you've got the base category of rock, right? So you have the base category of horror. He's totally and skipping over hard rock and everything else. Too. Know, right, classic rock, you know, I'm trying to shorten down what I'm... Alt rock. I could sit here and list for hours on end, and I'm trying not to do that right now, okay? You should be grateful that I'm doing that. This ADD isn't kicking oh. in. Uh, actually, it kind of is. Rock lobster! Yes! It just got delivered. <laughs> oh, the engraver? Yes, yeah. the engraver just showed up. Three hours yeah. late. A day later. I am so sorry. I broke right in the microphone. I did not mean <laughs> to do that. Sorry, Melissa. I appreciate She's going to chew his ass out for me doing that. Oh, no, 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 no. She's going to go, uh huh. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to go, you talk to him. Yeah. She knows. She follows us on Instagram. God, that is so hot in all the right ways. Like I, I'm enjoying this so much that I don't want to down it that fast. I know. Like I'm literally like I I am sipping this, and it's like, mm -mm. Um, nope. I'm enjoying it way too much. No, but when you when you get into the horror movie category, though, you've got your slasher. You know, so you go immediately into Freddy Krueger. Jason Voorhees, Michael Myers. Well, but then you also have creature features in horror. It, it, creature feature, I I feel, can cross into, but is its own standalone category. It can cross into, okay, 
Uh, you, you mentioned this movie Werewolf earlier. movies. Cheapers, Creepers. Jeepers Creepers is it's it's in that kind of slasher esque category, but I think that would be more of a supernatural horror. Yes, it is. It is definitely more of a supernatural horror. Now you mentioned one earlier, which was Critters. Oh, that is straight up. It's a creature, creature feature, feature, but it's it horror. cuts into the horror just enough. Um, Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. That is technically a horror. It's a horror movie, but I consider it also a creature feature. They are their own creatures. Yeah, I, I, I don't have a problem with that. Right, right. So, like, there, there is that, there is that fine line that I think where creature well, features. A, a, actually, if you think about it, critters, they're aliens. So technically, it's not a creature. It's an alien on a technicality. Uh, you uh, and but but I have always considered critters a creature feature. Yes, um, you mentioned one earlier also uh, in between shows and everything before we started recording of Tremors. Tremors will never be a horror film to me. Uh, technicality, it is. I think it should be locked solely in comedy, but that's just me. And and I'm I'm. I'm good with it being like a, a comedy suspense. It, it, it's it's a comedy creature feature, right? Because they've created a creature for the film, mm-hmm. but it is very comedic. Oh hell yeah! I mean, look at Burt Gummer. And fuck yeah! Well, right, right. But but you 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 look at the character of Burt Gummer. You. Well, like, fuck you. <laughs> um. Fuck you. Burt Gummer has a has a basement full of guns. I told you I was gonna grab that. Ted. Uh, yeah, basically. Um, bedroom full of guns. Household full of guns. Well, the bedroom's I've, full of sex toys. <laughs> <laughs> Enough about Tony's bedroom. Remember Naked Gun, the first one, where they went to the sex store and he said that leaf blower? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Why? No, I actually immediately went to the full body condom. <laughs> yeah, full body condoms. <laughs> um, but no, I, I I will I will always say that Tremors is more of a comedy creature feature. Mm-hmm. No, I, I I have no qualms calling it a comedy, but it is still a horror movie. Now, Leprechaun. It's a horror. Yes. It's a comedy. It is a it, it is a it is a Saint Patrick's Day. Yes, Chucky is definitely in that horror category, and I he goes into the slasher category. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Come on, man. I, I was gonna try to argue that, but then I'm like, D- you, no. you you are damn near arguing the horror movie. F- well, no, I you, I don't want to. You're, you're freak. You, yeah, we'll go with freak. Like I was gonna say the horror movie god, but I'm really not. Um, that, mean, was, that was going to be me being a little big-headed. I can call Melissa. She would probably argue a lot with you. It's out, ain't it? Oh, no, it's oh, it almost, almost out. Almost. I was checking the time. He was pumping so hard to get that thing to come back up. <laughs> I was waiting for it. I kept looking at Tony's clock, too. I brought it back to life. Damn, it's been that long. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually shocked. It's a good scar, though. It is a good scar. I think it I might just, be the scar. I, I was literally sitting here. Well, I was also sitting here talking and not smoking. Yeah. Um, well, it, I was purposely trying to get him to talk more. So I, I know you were. <laughs> and I, I mean, was like, wait a minute. I have, mm-hmm. I'm like, wait a minute. I'm not seeing smoke. Oh, it, if you think about it, though, horror, in essence, is such a broad spectrum of genre. Mm-hmm. Well, it yeah. really is. But you you also have to take into consideration the the godfathers of the horror genre. George A. Romero. George A. Romero is a perfect one. Wes Craven. Wes Craven, once again. I mean, God, there's... Come on. Come on. Fuck. I, there's a lot. Stephen like, King. St- yeah. Writer, not director. Nope. Um, also Director. His books, he actually had director influence on. The ones that were turned into movies. Okay. So, by proxy, director. But 
You know, some would say Tim Burton is a horror. he, and he is. Mm-hmm. I will always put him in that category because of some of the shit he does. And those things are scary as fuck. Well, his, my question his then: style would, alone, uh, Nightmare Before Christmas, mm-hmm. would that technically be a horror? <laughs> no, it's an opera. There's a lot of singing in it. Musical, at the very yeah, least. Yeah, at the very um, least. At the very they least, they actually classify the Blues Brothers as a musical. Yes, they do. Really? Yeah. yeah because all the singing in it? Yeah, it's primarily <laughs> musical. Yeah. Um, Nightmare Before Christmas is a, actually an interesting one where... I think it actually won Best Musical of the Year for it, too. Yeah. <laughs> that's um, funny. I'm going to look that up, because I think that's what they... I think it Nightmare Before Christmas is actually kind of interesting, because that one kind of goes it, it into really the... It's... While it's stop motion, it's an animated... No, it's stop more... It, 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 stop motion claymation. Yeah. It, but they consider it animated. Yeah, um, argument on that one, but we'll leave that go. And I don't really... I, I, I would never throw that into the horror category. Personally. Now, I love The Nightmare Before Christmas. Um, yeah. Duh. I, I, I'm just saying, on a technicality no, basis. Not even, on, not even on a technicality. Okay. Not even on a technicality. Is that horror enough? Okay, so that, you that think is, in order for horror, it needs to be blood and guts. Kind of. Uh, essentially. Okay, uh, so... Essentially, essentially, a horror movie has to have an aspect of something that will scare you. Nothing about Nightmare Before Christmas is scary. Unless you're afraid of Boogie Boogie. Or Sandy Claus. <laughs> I never had an issue with Sandy Claus. Uh, I'm just saying, you know. I mean, even the vampires and the witches are kind of cutesy. Mm. Dr. Finkelstein being basically Frankenstein's monster in a wheelchair. Uh, come on. He's he's Frankenstein's monster in a wheelchair. He can pop his head open. And, he, and then he creates his own female version of Frankenstein's monster in Sally. So it'd be Frankenstein's who monster's is, monster? But, but Sally's stuffed with leaves. So, and she's completely animated. So it'd also be supernatural, right? So like, so how? But it, that's Tim Burton, though. That's the magic of Tim Burton. I, I mean, and Tim Burton does get kind of the horror accolades. <laughs> it's out. Oh, oh, you suck, suck, suck. You're hired. Arr. That's twice he's had to bring it back to the death. <laughs> so, in that case, would Jaws you are not be considered horror? Yeah. Um. Ooh. Because it does have the scares. Jaws actually does, and I actually this one, if you look it up, uh, if you look up a list of horror movies, Jaws is actually listed, and I will say that yes, it does. It kind of falls into the line. Okay. Um, and yet, other ones that should clearly be horror movies, you say, aren't they? Evil Dead. Evil Dead will always be a core horror movie. Evil Dead and Army of Darkness. I fucking love Army of Darkness. I'm sorry. My Army favorites. of Darkness is a comedy. It is. And I love that movie. It's a comedy. There are no horror aspects to uh, that. I'm sorry. The Necronomicon. Yeah, but... Okay. Watch it. Tell me if you're ever scared. Okay, but he, but here's here's Never the thing. Here, here's the exactly. thing. Exactly. While you're not scared, it is the continuation of Evil Dead. Well, technically, so it is actually Army of Darkness part is of the its series. own standalone. But it's part of the series because uh, he could not get the rights to Evil Dead. Mm-hmm. So the first fifteen, I think it's fifteen, or is it twenty minutes? Twenty. Is him explaining how he pretty lost much the entire Evil Dead yes. condensed down. Yes. It's even less than that. It's like less for a minute and a half. Yeah. Um, now the evil got in his hand and he had to lop it off. That was the yeah. gist of. I, did, I, I love the chainsaw hand. Mm-hmm. Just, come on. This is my boomstick. Shop. Smart. There was shop S Mart back in the day when we played paintball. There was a barrel called a boomstick. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. 
Welcome yeah. to Costco. I love you. <laughs> I actually remember the, the boomstick. I remember the boomstick. I remember the boomstick. What was that movie that I just quoted? I don't know. Welcome to Costco. Welcome to Costco. I love you. Oh no. Idiocracy. Oh yeah. Yep. Have I seen that movie? Come on, we're living in it. No, not me, you idiot. No, no, no. Watch Idiocracy and you're going to go. Yeah, it, it, you, it, is ba- it is basically current day society. Um, yeah. Now, damn it, I had one in my mind that I was going to go with. And I lost it. No. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, no, no. They literally pay Idiots. for everything via a tattoo. Where, where, where's your two, man? Dude, where's your two? It's a barcode tattoo on their wrist. Yeah. Um, to the point, uh, yeah. There's a show that they all love called Ow My Balls. Ouch My Balls. No, Ow My Balls. I thought it was Ouch. Ow My Balls. Yeah. It's all about nut shots. The president, Wayne Camacho Mountain Dew. God, he had so many names, but he is the smartest. It, it's it's Terry Crews who plays oh, okay. it. okay. But he, and he rides around on a huge trike. Like a huge trike that's a, like a limo trike. <laughs> yeah, it, it is so... They water their plants with Brondo, which is basically Gatorade. Because it's got electrolytes. It's got what plants need. <laughs> <laughs> and they can't figure out why crops won't grow. Yeah. <laughs> Everything it, it, is basically a meme in society. And they speak in such broken slang that it's not funny. Yeah, it's we're, we're living it. Yep. There's a lot of things in this world, as far as movies go, that can dance that line of horror and sci-fi. You are right. Oh, yeah. You are right. Alien. Alien. Mm. Alien is a horror movie. I say no when I ashed on the bar. All right, mark it down. One. It was just. It was incidental. If I had already ashed in here, we're gonna have the counter extras. Um, it's not bad. One cigar. One egg. And it still hasn't gone out. Nope. Not yet. Keyword. Yet. It ain't going out until I'm done with it. It's a good cigar, though. It is a really good cigar. It smells fantastic. I can't wait to break out one of the other ones. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, what was... Okay, here's one. Maximum Overdrive. No, oh, come on. Really? You're going to bring out that one? It Sentient skirts. vehicles? It skirts. No. No, it does skirt the line. No. Yes. If we're gonna skirt it the is line. supernatural. If we're going to skirt the line, then I'm Actually, gonna... no, I think it was an asteroid, so it's... Um... It was an asteroid. If we're going to skirt well, the comet. line, then I'm going to pull out the escape froms. And see, and, and I, I will give you... Well, escape from New York, escape from LA. Because that's not does, horror. No, but it skirts the line. It does skirt the line. Mm-hmm. How does Escape from New York even come close to being horror? Look at the characters and stuff that are in it. Dystopian society. Oh, there you go. Okay, and a lo- look at a lot of well, a lot of good, science fiction is that, dystopian they had society. That doctor that was cutting people up and everything. In yep. It too. Yep. Which was actually Escape from LA. That was uh, what's his face from Evil Dead. I can't, right there on the tip of the tongue. I can't remember. His, uh, Bruce Campbell. Yes, Thank there you. you go. Yeah. Yeah, because he wanted to take... He was really good in that movie, too. <laughs> he's got... It's a shame he's only got one perfect blue eye. Yeah. Nurse, cut it out. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Um, that was Escape from L.A., though. Yes. Yes, it was in L.A. Mm-hmm. But those... I, and I'll allow those to skirt the line, mm-hmm. because there are elements that make you go, oh, shit. But it's not horror. No. no, it's Let's not horror, that. but I'll allow it to skirt the line. How? Just like Big Trouble in Little China skirts the line because there's monsters and stuff. God, it skirts like four lines at yeah. once. Yeah, I mean that. But that, I mean, that is definitely a sci-fi movie. Well, closer to fantasy than I think sci-fi. Yes, fantasy comedy. Yes. Yeah. Well, it, Indiana Jones, uh, Temple of Doom, action. Well, I th- think of what it skirts, though. Mm-hmm. And, and I will once Kali again. Ma. I, I will once again, and I will give the skirt because you get into we can rip the. Someone's heart out and they're still living. Well, right, and then the you know, 
all the, the, the almost getting crushed, the bugs, yeah. you, know, you know. And I and I will give the skirt there, but I will always forever see that as action. Yeah, that's what an action Raiders? adventure. Oh, action adventure all day long. At the end, yeah. they all melt. That's scary. Yeah. I mean, you can technically classify It's an that. action film. You, 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 could, you could argue the last action. ten minutes of the film mm-hmm. being a line skirt. Mm-hmm. No, it, it's closer to like the last fifteen because it has a solid like five minutes of the art going through that yeah. warehouse. Well, yeah. yeah. It's all right, fifteen. Jesus Christ. 10, yeah, 15, I, we're splitting fucking hairs on that We one. are. All right, this Sheldon, is what you, you and atoms? I do best. We split hairs. I'm going to split atoms next. Ooh. Ooh, don't do it here at the house. I'll fuck blow my house up. Um, I don't know. I mean, there's just, just so many good horror movies that can that can skirt lines. Mm-hmm. Um, Seven. Seven's a good one. Yeah. Um, I was even thinking House. You guys probably don't remember House. I'm thinking of the TV show House. Yeah, you are. Um, Tony, you pro- I will be surprised if you remember House. Uh, give me a quick synopsis. Okay, so guy lives in a house. He opens up a door, and it leads to an alternate universe. Sandworms. You know I hate them. <laughs> <laughs> so, but at the same time, he sees... Come out his, in the 80s? Oh, yeah, it was an 80s flick. 80s, early 90s. Mm. Um, he sees... One of his army buddies who died on the battlefield, and he's always like constantly fighting him when he opens. Like it's, it was weird, and it kind of gets that horror movie. It ticks the boxes, mm-hmm. but it also ticks all the boxes for sci-fi. No, I mean, uh, if you think about it, Hellraiser does too. Oh, Hellraiser will forever be a horror film. No, you can argue sci-fi. You could argue sci-fi all you want, uh, no, and you can be saying. as long as you want to be. <laughs> well, you say that Alien is not it's pure sci-fi. Horror. It's pure sci-fi. I mean, on a technicality, Alien tour horror. Creature features mm-hmm. horror. Because if you think of a perfect example, Dog Soldiers. Uh, it is a B movie in every aspect of the term. I know you're out of whiskey. What are you what are, what are you gonna do about that? Yeah, I wouldn't. Oh, he's still got that. some. He's still got some. <laughs> he's all right, folks. He's still. As got some we whiskey. all go, eh, I wouldn't up in that. He's out of whiskey now. This is y'all's conversation. I'm I'm not the horror guy here. I don't watch horror movies. I know, which is actually like really hilarious what? to me. It's not my genre. I just don't. It's not the things I, I genre. Like yeah, genre, whatever. Genre. Thank you. <laughs> it's not my genre. It's, my, not, it's not my John. This I mean, whatever the fucking word is. Markers, Mark. <laughs> Mike, Mark. Mike, Mark. <laughs> Mike, Mark. <laughs> um, six classes deep. No, no, no. Wait a minute, though. That's actually. I don't think we've ever fully delved into that. Why horror is not your thing? We just never. It just it's dumb. Is it the it's fantastical? Not, like, come on. I anyone can so, reason reason when you go to their a movie, ways out. You want to disbelief. You want to suspend disbelief? Yeah, I can't. I can't do it with those movies. Really? Yes. Yeah. Action movies, I can. Comedies, I can. Those, I just can't. I'm. I pick it apart. I'm like that's so fucking stupid. I, I pick every little thing apart, and that's why I don't watch them. Yeah. So uh, seven, so, seven though, I fucking got into seven. I fucking loved seven. So you couldn't yeah. actually see in any of, and, and we'll we'll go. You to need classic. to watch Oculus. Oh God, that is from was, Mike Fan Flanagan. Such Oculus okay. and uh, Ouija were really good movies. <laughs> like it. Oculus. So you, you may not be a huge horror fan. Now I did like the, but what the, Mike Flanagan does, fan fucking tastic. Okay, now hold on. I, I will say, go ahead, go ahead. So I'm gonna throw this back way back, and I don't know. It's been a long time since I've seen the movie, but from everything I remember of the movie, kind of horror based. And you guys can correct me on this. I don't give a fuck. A Clockwork Orange. Kubrick. No. Stan- Stanley Kubrick did have some really good movies. No. But Clockwork Orange was definitely more... 
certain right like sci-fi gangster but even that doesn't fit right Mm-mm. well it's it's late 70s early 80s so it's gonna be it's a that dystopian weird era. Uh, thriller yeah a dystopian thriller right. yeah it's so the best thriller way to describe edge. it yeah, yeah. thriller edge. yeah um, so it, strikes, it doesn't it doesn't fully go into the whole, no the whole well now a good example is the shining there are a lot of only arguments. Seen, only seen bits and pieces. Well, of it. Oh. There, there are a lot of arguments for and against mm-hmm. a couple of genres with it. Truly, mm-hmm. like thriller, suspense. Yes, it's a gore horror. It, mm, it's a gore horror to a certain extent. Yes, I mean the elevator scene alone, uh, compared to relatively new gore porn. Gore porn. And again, relatively new gore porn. I dude, hostile. I heard porn. Oh, okay, right. Human centipede. Twice. Oh, I can't watch that. That's the name itself. Is right. Like, well, now you've gone into a whole different category. Hostile. Right. Gore porn. No, thank you. Yeah. Not I, not my thing. Right. That that is so stupid. Um, why so that? I, why I, why do some people have like? Ooh, I want to watch. You know, somebody. Getting cut, okay. fake, you okay. know, no, like okay. this, that, and the other, and it's like, but, but what t- is but Tony, wrong? Tony, eight millimeter style. Tony, did Worse. you <laughs> did you ever go to Outlands, the Goth Bar Outlands? I can neither confirm nor deny. Okay, we've already had this discussion. I know. So you remember the room where you could actually get put on? Like, are hooks. you talking about the wall? The meat hooks. Oh, you're talking about suspension. I got yes. a couple of friends that do suspension right. work. Right. So, so you can kind of understand where. Oh, I know suspension. Some people would go into that. That thrill. Gore porn category, yeah. which, once again, not a category for me. Um, I wouldn't necessarily call it. What? Mm-hmm. I mean, now I will say that technically. Friday the Thirteenth is a supernatural horror. Supernatural, yes. Oh, it's horror all day long. Just walk slow. Well, no, the, no. The supernatural part of it is that he doesn't die. He always goes back to the lake to come back again. Didn't that fucker go to space once? Yeah. yeah. Oh God, let's not mention that fucking horrid fucking atrocity to that series. Even though it had one of my favorite. The sleeping bag. That that is my favorite thing ever in the world. That one ha- did have and, my And he just goes, Huh? That one had my favorite Jason Voorhees in it. Kane Hodder. Kane Hodder was seven, eight, nine, and X. So ten. Jason goes to space. No as, shit. We, as we lovingly hatingly call it. Um, the other uh, Friday the thirteenth that I absolutely hate, Jason goes to Manhattan. Or Never Jason in Manhattan. Jason, Jason goes to a slumber party. Jason goes to a pillow fight. Jason and Jason Man- goes to a wrestling match. J- Jason in Manhattan, he gets into a fight with a boxer. Or a boxer picks a fight with Jason Voorhees on a rooftop and literally gets his head knocked clean off his shoulders a la Mortal Kombat style. Head pops off. Jason, How is that horror? Jason Voorhees, the search it, for more it, money. It was, yes, that's, right? yes, that's what that one was. Yeah. That's a straight up money grab. Yeah. Right. That one was a we don't know what we're gonna write about. Send him to New York. Send him to Manhattan. Send him to the Bronx. I mean, you might have, uh, let him run into Snake Plissken. I mean, uh, okay. There we go. There we go. Snake. Oh, our, our Vampire our, in Brooklyn. Oh God. <laughs> Tales from the Crypt. <clears throat> Tales from the Crypt was actually fantastic, though. Yes. Yeah. Uh, which the, the, the only one I really remember was the 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 two guys that were gambling the entire time. Hmm. My and favorite, I think, down to was the demon Russian roulette. Where they, they didn't have the bullet loaded, and had to end up cutting fingers and shit off at the end. Do you remember the uh, the meteor one? Nope. What what was it? The demon knight one. I'm still not out. Um, Shockingly, it's the been closet. close to an hour. So, and he's still going strong. There is there's a new series out, and you've probably heard of it, Tony. I don't know if you have, Corey. Creep oh, show. I'm so oh yeah. My horror stuff. Yeah. Creep show. Oh, yeah. nope. Don't care for it. Do you, but like j- just personally, I'm. Which is funny. Did you like Tales from the Crypt? Yeah. Do you know what Creep Show actually is? Yeah, it's a continuation. It's, it's crazy. A, it, it's a redo of yeah. all of the Tales from the Crypt. Yeah, I'm just like mm. uh, I. 
I I think it's the nostalgia that I have for Tales from the Crypt. Yes. Yes. The Creep Master is not the Crypt Keeper. Yeah, it, it's like... I'm sorry, eh. I, I don't care how they pass off. So what led eh. me to uh, discovering that was I just saw the Funko releases that they had. Okay. For Creep Show. Are they bad? So they've got a dude sitting in a lounge chair covered in moss. Sorry about the hearing meteor, that motorcycle. The meteor episode where he touched it and... Oh, God. From, night, from Tales from the Crypt. Yeah. They just redid it. So they reimagined. Nah. No, it's the same story. Wait, so pretty much word for word. Creep Show is Tales from the Crypt, which is also a former 70s. I, mm, it is. Yeah. yeah. You can no, look it up. You can even no, look I, it up and that, that, that's why I'm like, eh, mm, yeah. Like I I can't even argue it. Mm. I, it. It's a moot point to even try to argue that one. But I honestly think horror is such a broad genre well, so that it, it, trying to say something is and something isn't is completely ass. Horror is the base, right? Yeah. Which I say you have horror creature features, and you go, well, no, creature feature is not necessarily horror. I think horror. a lot of creature features just need to stand on their own. Well, it, it's still technically horror. If the right Werewolf right. movies. It, th- those will always be... okay. In order for like, me to it, say, it, order, it, it, if you think about it, werewolf and vampires go hand in hand, right? But right? you you also have to go back to the original, um, Universal Studios, on those. Why? Why Boris not? Boris Karloff. He was horror all day long. Mandy, do you have uh, any words of wisdom on this one? On what? Well, because we're debating on, you know, aspects of horror. Okay. Would, a were- would, would let's say, a werewolf in London. Okay. Is that a horror movie? Horror or a creature feature? It's both. Oh, yeah. Okay, thank right. you. Right. I would say both, yeah. Right. Now. Now, Alien. The movie Alien. Mm-hmm. Is that a horror movie? I don't think this one bodes well for you, Tony. I mean, it could be. So it's a maybe? But, yeah. Yeah. Alien. Do you think... you seen the movie Alien? Yeah. Do you think it's a war movie? It could be. I mean... Right. I, I think that's... Chest bursting. I think that skirts a line. Depending I mean, chest burster... I uh, along... Uh, alone. Sorry. Alone. 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 Hello. I, I think it, it's horror. Put two bitch down. Oh, you're going after benchmark. Uh, He's going after the Russell that he was going to have earlier. He's just drinking it to get rid of it. It's actually so. It's meh. <laughs> it is meh. But if you put two drops, and I've, writ- I've written on a bottle. Yeah, two drops. Needs two drops. Yeah. I, I, <laughs> I, I do remember you doing that. Yes. So I'm almost out. Of oh, cigar or whiskey. Uh, cigar book. is not he out. Back up it. Ted's almost blew it by letting the cigar out go three times. He's had to puff on it so hard to get it to come back. Yeah, the, like the, ce- the center, the only the center is staying lit right now. Yeah, that's that's bad. number four. That's bad. And you're at almost an hour. So we've been doing this for close to an hour now. We're about an hour and 18 uh, minutes yeah. now on the recorder. Shockingly, we started off with how's your week going to horror. Yeah. Well, yeah. I thought we were supposed to have a horror episode. We are. Well, this is, we are. Bit, I guess. This, is, this is part one of it. I, I, I think that this is a really good segue Not into really. a horror episode yeah, gotcha. if we wanted to have one. Okay. Are right, you going to pour some for yourself? Oh, okay. fuck yeah, I am. All right. well, I'm still drinking one of my fucking AM Scott, so. I finished that. Oh, well, sorry about Ooh, your luck. Dude, that was more than a drop or that two. Was, that was a lot of water. Mm. Oh, God, that AM Scott is so good. <sighs> I know. You want some bacon. I got you. He also wants eggs. He also wants hash brown. He wants some of the bread. Sit. He don't discriminate against food. No. He's like, oh, that's chocolate? I want some. My buddy's had a hard week, so. <laughs> How many baths did he get again? He's got a bunch of baths. Like 15? A lot. And he... A lot. 
Unfortunately, <laughs> blew, a, <laughs> blew, blew a toenail out. Yeah. The whole quick is, is shown. It's bad. That has to hurt. Oh, yeah. He's limping around. It's, it's not, and if, if the ding-dong would stop jumping off the deck when he goes outside... It wouldn't be as bad. No, because he's still doing it. Yeah, he, hasn't he is your dog. <laughs> <laughs> Don't work very well, do I? <laughs> like, uh, normally I would say he is your son, but no, he is your dog. I have revived it from the ashes five times. Jesus Christ, it's a fucking phoenix over here. <laughs> Maybe that cigar is his lucky cigar. Do you have to relight yours? No, I haven't relit mine once. Mm. Water. Suck. Suck. Suck it. Yeah, mine's dying out right in the middle. Yep. You're pretty much done. Yeah, it's about it's about cached. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and call it. Nope. Because no, it's still if you, lit. If you relit it, or relit the sides, it'd be all right. But that would technically mm-hmm. be... Mm-hmm. It went out. On a... Hello. What the fuck is that? That's on like an attempt at an ATV. Could be. Dirt bike. Eh, no, it wasn't high enough for a dirt bike. Mm-hmm. It's probably some kind of motorized ATV. Keep going. Keep going. Puff. 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 Hey, what's his name? The Magic Dragon. <laughs> oh. Feeling a little lightheaded? Are like you it. starting to burn further back? I'm getting, yeah, look at that. I, wow. I, I'm actually it's getting coming a, out of the side there. I'm getting a burn further back. Wow. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't know. Like, she's the manager. Oh, yeah, she is. There are so many. She oh, it's got so to, much she better. She had to pick a bottle earlier, too. So. I don't do horror shows. Well, th- this is a real good segue into a horror series. I really think so. Oh, and I, I could do a horror series. So, I mean, well, I, we can break down horror movies very easily. We have jump scares. We right, have. If we're gonna count the, re, if we're gonna count an extra light as, I'm gonna light one side. Okay, that's count. I would. One hundred percent. Fifty-seven minutes, forty-two seconds. Point. That might be his best time set yet. It. I think it is. A. <laughs> hey, uh, you're about ready to lose a bite. Yeah, no, he's trying. <laughs> She might be about know, on me. Food out there. I think it is pretty much cash. Yeah, she's about cashed on me is the problem. Yeah. She's getting down to the end where it's like, it's a little... You, you have a little bit more than nub left. Mm-hmm. He is straight up mean mugging your sandwich. You can get away from my sandwich. Yeah, that's getting very He's hot drooling. on the draw. There's freaking drool dropping out of his <laughs> mouth. <laughs> What are, you, what are you doing, Link? I'm just waiting for him to grab it and go. He he was trying to, and I asked him what he was doing. He, he will get his ass chewed out. out if he grabs it and runs. He knows that. He's going to do it. Gonna he do made it. chicken sandwiches one time and sat down, and he goes, there's a bite out of my sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> what did you learn? Not to leave my sandwich unattended. Yep. <laughs> oh, no. I have one cat. Ninja. Do you have cat? You don't have cats, do you? No, no am I? Uh, used to. Yeah. Um, can't have a cat where we're currently living. Gotcha. So, I will so, again, though. So we have cats and dogs and a snake. You have a snake? Yeah, we have a snake. I have a snake, man. Yeah. It actually uh, one only has one eye. Snake. One time I fed it some beer. It was slithering this way and that. No, no. The snake, Mickey, actually only has one eye. <laughs> what kind of snake is it? It's a boa. Okay. Those aren't so bad. Yeah, it. She's small. But she said like I have a pit viper or something like that. I'm like, dude, what the fuck's wrong with you? I mean, <laughs> no. I always wanted to have a black African black mamba. So we have Blake. we have a guest coming up who is a snake guy. I know. And if he brings a snake up here, oh, I'm gonna love it. I'm gonna shoot him. <laughs> well, I <laughs> him and the snake. I I, I I thought we were gonna have somebody up here this Manny's week. Like, no, 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 no. Yeah. It's no. next recording. Alan was supposed to be here. Well, no, 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 no. Not him. But I thought. Uh, the other guy was supposed no, to be up. No, 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 no. Jason's no. supposed to, come Jason's supposed to be 28th. Oh, uh, okay. 28th. He's actually, I think he's actually confirmed for the 28th. Yes. So. Awesome. But that'll be fun. No, he better not bring a snake with him. No, he's not. Oh, I hope he, he does. walked into Kelly's house one time with a snake around his neck, and I about fucking freaked out. <laughs> I don't do snakes. He's like, but she's cold, and she had to bring her in. I was like, no. Mm-mm. Well, I mean, the snake stays in her cage, and it's right. just like, all right, cool. It's like whatever. we went to... Um, 
Paul. Paul. Thank you. I couldn't think of his name for it. Sorry, Paul. <laughs> um, wow, Paul we has, both like in yeah, a matter of. I couldn't think. But hey. Paul, Paul has a snake, and I was like, "It's cool. It's in the cage. No problem whatsoever. You bring it out, and try to get it on me. I'll fucking fight." See, he had uh, at one point he had sand boas. Mm-hmm. Sand boas only max out at like six inches, or twelve. I think twelve inch max. So it's like a worm. I mean, they they get to you know about like that. Yeah. But they're only about. That is like, more than six inches there, bub. That's I said, like eight I said, to ten. I said, I said That's 12. a foot. I said twelve. I corrected it to twelve. It's a foot. <laughs> they get from like six to twelve inches, depending on which ones you get. But they're only more, about. More than Ted's ever seen. They, <laughs> I got you both on that one. All right. Well, that's us here at the Car Skull <laughs> Podcast. I'm Tony. Oh, that's man. Ted. That's Corey. We're done for right now. We'll pick it up here in a few minutes. Peace. Slutcha. <laughs>